Hey guys, it's Andre from Apollo Automation. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the initial setup on the MSR1. Uh, we've had a lot of feedback from uh, users that they would like to see kind of video tutorials because not everybody really wants to read text on the wiki. I know I learn best visually. I don't know about you guys, but let's go ahead and get into it. So step number one on your journey is find yourself an outlet, find yourself an MSR1, and go ahead and just plug that bad boy right in there. So once you've got the MSR1 plugged in, you're gonna go over to your computer and you're gonna connect to its Wi-Fi hotspot. You're gonna go down here, check here. It should show up in this list. If it doesn't, I've found that you go to more Wi-Fi settings here and show available networks and it generally shows up in this list. It might just be a Windows quirk, um, but then you click, go ahead and connect, and you give it just a few minutes here. It should launch this little dashboard here. You find your Wi-Fi network here, and select it, put in your password, and then you hit save, and then it'll connect to that network and at that point, you're ready to go into the Home Assistant dashboard. All right, so the next step is we're going to go to the Home Assistant dashboard now that we've got the MSR1 connected to our Wi-Fi. And we'll go here. We're gonna go down to Settings over here, Devices and Services. You should see it pop up right here as Discovered, Configure. You wanna add it. Submit, it's gonna think about things, and then it'll say, success. Found the following devices. You can pick what area of your house it's in. In my case, it's in the office, and finish. And now, you will see it under devices, Apollo multi-sensor here, and you can see all of the uh, sensor data. There's automations you can add, scenes, scripts, the RGB light, you can toggle it on and off from here. You can select the brightness, the color, and it'll show the log right here. If you scroll down, there are multiple zones for the radar. And in a future video, I plan on tweaking those and kind of showing you how to set up different radar zones so that, for instance, if you have this in an open concept area, you can set it so it's not triggering when you're not actually that close to it. So that is basically how to set up, do the initial setup of the MSR1 with Home Assistant. And stay tuned for the next video. We're going to talk about your first automation. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Keep an eye out for more just like it coming soon. See you guys in the next one.